Hello, it's Varun here. Today we are going to talk about how to sell services using WooCommerce. In this setup, we are using a rain theme, and I have configured a couple of uh, products here as a services. And uh, in this setup, we are also using WC vendor uh, to allow to sell these services uh, as a vendor also. At present, uh, we have a couple of services as an admin and a couple of services as a vendor. First of all, I'm logged in as a customer and trying to buy a service uh, it will help you to understand what is the difference between buying a service or buying a regular product uh, using WooCommerce so first of all I'm going to add this product to the cart and uh, I'm going to the checkout list step uh, right now the test payment gateway is enabled and uh, all the details are already filled here please order once the order is placed, it will send you to a detailed order detail page where you can submit your requirement uh, to complete your order and that is the difference uh, what you are getting here with the service order. So with the service order as a admin or as a service provider or as a vendor, we can ask our customer to provide some specific details so we can help them to complete their order. Okay, so in that way, suppose that you are going to write a blog article and to write an article you need some content summary or title or keyword on which you are planning to write those things or suppose that you have to create a selling a service where you have to do a SEO service, obviously you need uh, some URL on which, which need to be optimized, what are the focus keyword on which uh, your customer is looking for. The same way you are trying to sell a logo or graphics design service, obviously you need some concept from your customer or client uh, to, so they can provide you, they can give you an idea what needs to be done. So in that way you can prepare a set of questions for your customers and they can reply on those things that will help you to process their order. So suppose that uh, I have this order and once my customer has it to, so it will send them to a next page like uh, start the conversation so we have order started the requirement has been submitted and after that one uh, your customer can uh, submit their details we have submitted the requirement something like this like this message is not required requirement submission is enough to notify uh, the product owner like uh, they have submitted the details what we have to do next like uh, if I'm switching back to the site admin who is the owner of this product and uh, navigating to this the same page you can see that there's a top no notification they have submitted their requirement and after that one there will be a second notice where it will notify us like you have received a one new message like this so Andrew who was the customer has submitted the requirement and as a product owner I can view those details and that will help us to start working on this order for the delivery date uh, it is the site admin who has created this product they have set their delivery duration for any service what they are offering and if they feel like this detail is something need some more details or some more additional time then they can also update their delivery time and that will also create a notification uh, to the site at, to the customer like uh, what will be the timeline for the delivery so they can also check it so thanks for the info thanks for the info. Okay. So, as a site admin or the product owner, I, I have submitted my response to the customer and uh, I can switch to the customer. Right now, I'm using the body press, so I can also switch from the front end. 
switch to and to this conversation page uh, these are the part of the my account page so they can navigate from the service or they can directly click on any notification what they have sent play received and they can directly rank to those pages so customer has built the first message vendor has uh, submitted their second message and then he can also view what is the updated timeline for this uh, particular delivery and uh, they can send their confirmation message thanks for update so this is how a vendor and uh, customer can communicate with each other and once uh, customer is okay to deliver the product then they can submit as a delivery so suppose that i have to submit as a final delivery initial draft okay. i'm just submitting as an initial draft so customer can check it Send a message. This is the delivery. So they can check with these settings, and uh, so that I can also want to send the file. So I'm just going to attach a file there. Submit. So I have notified my customer like uh, they can check the details what we have sent and uh, there's a notification that you have sent a, a final delivery to the customer and the customer can check uh, these details and if they are okay with that one then they can accept it and if they are not okay with the delivery they can request for a revision work. So I just use the quick navigation but if you have to multiple orders and you want to check uh, to navigate back there so you have to go to the my account page which is the default WooCommerce my account page and this is there will be a service tab and we are listing all the orders on this service tab and you can navigate from the active order to this uh, conversation page so I have got the file I can view, download this file and um, if I'm satisfied with that one I can say that yeah it is okay or if I'm uh, please make following changes and i have rejected this delivery i can accept it but right now i'm trying to show like i can also reject my delivery okay you didn't accept the final delivery of the service so as a vendor i can submit resubmit my details this I have modified as per request. I can attach multiple files or single file, it's completely our call. So submit. Switch to you can see that uh, we have the final message here for the final delivery and thanks looks good okay, and i can accept it this time so once uh, the customer accept the delivery the order is marked completed so this is the complete uh, journey of this summary first as a site admin, I had placed, uh, created my service order, service product, and I have included a couple of questions with that one. As a customer, I had uh, bought this service and answered those questions what are created by the site admin. And then we can have a conversation flow where we can ask questions about uh, those services, 
if they need any additional details customer or site admin can communicate with each other and they can set a final delivery and it also uh, you also have flexibility for the revision work and once the order is complete you can add a review fast uh, delivery and you can also submit a rating and that will synchronized with the woocommerce product so this is how your complete order has been complete done and if you go to the my account page now you can see that on the service order you have no active service there's one completed service this one and uh, i'm switching back to as a customer end so you can see that as a customer when i'm going to navigate my services this is this one for when i am placing my order this one is for service provider so they can check how many orders they have got and which are inactive or which one is completed or which are cancelled so i can check my completed order as a service provider and view all the conversation anytime if i'm going to check my saw and uh, to the first product what i have delivered here so we have to make sure all the reviews what we have got here like you can see that the review what i have got on the conversation page that is also reflected in this review section so this is how the complete journey is uh, going to work for customer and the site admin okay now i'm going to create uh, explain how to create the service order and what are the options we have inside the backend with both services thank you